we were dreaming about it all year because the year before they lost to the Montreal Canadian junior team. So all the old players wanted to win and they, from training camp on, we were talking about the Memorial Cup. That's right off the start. You know, uh, Guy Lafleur, uh, Regent Giroux, Jacques Richard. Uh, we, had, we had a good team. Uh, Maurice Fillion as a, as a coach, so we had a good team. All the attention was on Guy, uh, for sure. We had some good players. We had three good lines. We had a good, good team for a junior team. It was a wonderful year. We lost uh, only eight games during the season, and we won the three uh, playoffs before to go to the the Memorial Cup. Because of the rivalry between uh, uh, Marcel Dion and Guy Lafleur, and, and that series was tough. A guy, uh, St. Catherine, was a bigger, a bigger team, and uh, the, the guys really put their heart on the ice to win that that series. Yeah, that's a series you remember the most. I mean. Uh, uh, you know Marcel Tian, uh, Pierre Guité, uh, and you look you look at their uh, you, you look at their uh, their team. They had, they had a very good team. We won that series, and we play against uh, Edmonton Oil King, and then we play a uh, two on three, and uh, in Quebec City, and we won the two first game, and uh, we won the Memorial Cup at that time. We had great fans. You know our fans. We had 13, 13, 12,000, 13,000. The atmosphere, you know, you really uh, rarely see that kind of atmosphere. It was a great atmosphere. So we came back and our fans and, uh, you know, we got the big boost from our fans. It was special when we went uh, in Quebec City, all the people, 10,000 people. Uh, it was really special. You won the Memorial Cup in 1971, one of the most controversial Memorial Cups of all time, when your fans scared the St. Catharines squad to the point where they didn't want to play, and that included legendary Marcel Dion. What do you remember from 1971 and your yeah, Memorial but before, Cup experience? Before, before that series, we had to meet uh, Charlottetown. That's right, and that was yeah, a tough one too. Had, we had a big brawl, and the RCMP yeah. was, uh, well, the people, the fans, were jumping on the ice, yeah. fighting the players. <laughs> really? The RCMP was on the ice. So after the game, they, well, they ended the game there. And the RCMP has to escort us to the hotel. <laughs> so All we time won that perfect. Series. perfect. <laughs> yeah. the, the, we won the, that the, the series and we started against the uh, St. Catherine with Marcel Dion, and uh, everybody knows what happened. They, 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 they didn't want to come back. Well, there was The, the great junior players, these guys were Ed Stanowski, Greg Jolly, uh, uh, Clark Gillies, Dennis Subject. They put together this team in 71 72. The Pats now hadn't won a Memorial Cup since 1930, and you're thinking, this is the team that can do it. And you watched them and you kind of cheered for them and you marveled at their skills. So we had a really, really talented team. A great goaltending with Eddie Stanowski and, uh, you know, solid defense right up and down. So. Um, and a tough team too. We had, we had a very tough team at that time. We got into Calgary, and you know, you're you're, you know, one team. Uh, there's three teams there, and you got all this NHL scouts are there. You got all the press uh, from all every Western Hockey League town, and basically from all over Canada. You get the Quebec press, and you get the Ontario press, and um, they put you on a pretty high pedestal. And you walk around the hotel, and guys are looking at you, and you. You kind of feel special. To get to the Memorial Cup is one thing. To win the Memorial Cup um, is a whole other thing. There are wonderful stories about Bob Turner getting so angry at the team that the, he would be stomping into the dressing room to, to say something. And, and Sobchuk would say, Bob, it's OK, I got it. And he would kind of t calm Bob down because Bob was a fiery guy, and which they loved him because of that. It was a pretty quiet dressing room for a while. There was no raw rock because we knew this is slipping away. We'd had a great playoff run uh, and overcome some adversity, 
and we had to look back and look at ourselves and say, you know what, we, we can overcome this. We just have to come together. Everybody was ecstatic, you know, and that was a nice thing. And it was uh, it was good to go back to Regina and saying, hey, we here's what we did. In the playoffs, we faced elimination seven times and won all seven games. So adversity wasn't the problem. We were just a bunch of kids. We took everything so lightly. We used to get as much print as the Leafs. We had a lot of talent on the team. I think seven or eight of us made it to the NHL. Um, and George just uh, just let us play. When we saw the size of the New Westminster, we couldn't believe it. They were like the biggest team in hockey, including pro. And, uh, so we were watching the practice and they're trying to kill each other. They're practicing, going, oh, he smokes, we've got to go out there. And we were not a big team, we were a fast team and a game very young, you know, we're all 17, 18. Memorial Cup day, we go out for a warm up. We only had two pucks and we lost a puck down one end and nobody would go down and get it because they would kill us. George Armstrong came in, had a really good chat with us and uh, you know, he'd won four Stanley Cups and how, how he felt through those games at the, you know, going into the Stanley Cup finals and how he was also afraid and, and uh, but you just, you got out there and you just gave it everything you had and you put all that, be, you know, behind you. We went out there and we just, we played a really hard, strong game. We, we, they, they tried to take us to us physically. We just sucked it up and, uh, and I think we beat them 7-3 that game, which was, uh, which is, was great and a great feeling and great to hold the Memorial Cup after that. You know, I remember carrying the cup. And I remember winning it and I thought this was supposed to be what you do all the time. I thought this was the way. It's supposed to be. You just go out and you win championships every year. On Monday's edition, it was all about the Marlies playing Sunday. On every Sunday, we put over 10,000 people in the garden. No expense was spared to make the newly named Finn Cups better. What I remember of the team is they were very um, scrappy and a tough team on, on the ice. However, they were highly skilled and successful. Uh, well, and Ontario went on to win the Memorial Cup as, as underdogs. So it was quite exciting for the entire city of Hamilton. Team and a great team, a championship team. I think what people still remember is the hype, the excitement around the Finn Cup. just like the new Westminster Bruins did back in 1977. The biggest thing I think was um, the final game against Ottawa where, you know, Brad Maxwell had to score from an end to end rush and I'll never forget the rush, you know. Uh, so those are uh, memories that have happened a long time ago, but you never forget them. This is the first Memorial Cup hosted by Vancouver since 1977. Back then, this was a three-team tournament that brought together the Ottawa 67s led by Bobby Smith, the Shearbrook Beavers led by Jerry Gillis, and the legendary New Westminster Bruins led by Barry Beck, Stan Smeal, Mark Lofthouse, and a group of enforcers that could very well have been the inspiration for the movie Slapshot. And in those days, no team was as big or as aggressive as the Bruins, who, as the saying goes, could beat you on the ice or in the alley. A style patterned after a certain NHL team of that era. It, it was that uh, era that what the National Hockey League was looking for. Were you guys the Broad Street bullies of the CHL? No, we weren't. We were the McBride Street bullies. <laughs> as much as we were intimidating, uh, Punch would recognize that we have to have the skill in our lineup too. And that combination really worked for us. It sure did. 1977 was the third of four consecutive years the Bruins played in the Memorial Cup tournament. And after winning in 77, Stan Smeal captained New West to another championship the very next season. Does it seem like 30 years ago? <laughs> no, and that's why these guys should enjoy it as much as possible because it goes by quickly. Uh, but the memories always stay there and, and uh, I always stay in contact with the, with the players. And
Scott and Rick LaFerriere shining in net. After defeating Niagara Falls to win the OHL championship, Bob Adwell scored in overtime against the Brandon Wheat Kings to seal a 2-1 Memorial Cup final victory. How you feel right at the moment when Bobby Adwell put that one high into the net? Well, you know, I saw Murph charge in there for that puck, you know, him take that shot, the puck come bouncing out. I really didn't see was Bobby. I, I didn't know who it was. All I was following was that puck, and I was just saying, you know, he was down, please put it in that net, and, um, and sure enough, um, you know, it went in, and, you know, that's got to be the happiest day of my life. The Pete's strength was their depth, with Tim Trimper, Bill Gardner, and Chris Halleck leading a balanced offense. 